Yo, what's going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back for another OPTC video, and in today's video, we're taking a look at level 100 plus and honestly, level 150 against PKA Gordon or PKA Shanks. In today's video, we are going to be utilizing this particular team versus the final boss. So that's the team, those are the supports. Let's dive on in. Now, this team changed a little bit from yesterday's video. I did release a video um, from level 80 to 100 that I was pretty confident could do level 150. And honestly, I still think that team can. This team just has more damage. Someone pointed out to me in the comments, though, that there is a new debuff, which I didn't know about, but I didn't really know how it worked, which doesn't allow you to use specials or swaps. Does not use verse abilities. Any swipe down or any swipe up you can't use on the final stage. So basically, the only thing that you can use on the final stage is your captain's specials, your captain's captain uh, effects, your, like, in terms of, like, verse effects or, um, super types. So, Uta is just obviously so good for this content. Now, as you guys saw, we did get a tandem mob on Hiyori, and then we can switch with our Jumanji to give ourselves another tandem orb, uh, so that way we can get through the two tandem orb barrier on Yasop. If you guys don't get a tandem orb, just farm it up. Wipe it increases the chance of landing on tandem orbs. You should be able to pick one up pretty easily. Um, you have a lot of chances to get it. It should be absolutely hunky-dory. And that way you can move on to the Ben Beckham and Lucky Roo stage. Now, Ben Beckham and Lucky Roo do a captain swap. Um, it's very, very annoying. As you guys saw on turn three, there is blow away. That's what makes Wipe it so good. And these two mechanics make this content so finicky to deal with. It's it's so incredibly annoying. Not only do they have this new debuff on the final stage, but the blow away and the captain swap make it so tedious to deal with. Like, so ridiculously tedious. But for this particular thing to operate... You do want to put Momo in the middle right slot. Because every time you reload the game, as soon as you get that captain swap, right as you see the, what unit is being swapped, you can actually close the app, reopen it like you just saw there, and it will always load back to the middle right unit. And that means Momo will become our captain. Now, the reason Momo becoming captain is so valuable for this particular piece of content is because if you stall a turn on Ben Beckham and Lucky Roo, they actually give you bind. And Momo completely avoids bind. If you get blinded, he adds it to the attack boost which works exceptionally well. And with this particular team, you don't have a way of getting um, Special Reverse. I'm not 100% sure if the Special Reverse triggers before the Captain Swap. If it does, you could probably run 6-star Gear 5, and that way um, you can just avoid it with the ability to get around Special Reverse before that Captain Swap happens. But if it's after, you have to obviously swap into Gear 5, and then that way you can get around it. So very, very annoying stuff. On top of that, you get one turn of Special... Like I said... Um, not only do you get this one turn of special reverse, but you also get special blinded. And that's where Hiori comes in. Hiori, with her double special activation, can give you a three turn chain boost. And then basically, you can just pop everyone's specials on this turn. Momo gives you a four turn attack boost. Um, you get a three turn chain boundary with Hiori. You get a three turn orb boost with the six plus of, of Jumanji. And then you have Luffy to increase your attack boost. On top of that, you have a super type, which gives you a full board of Wano orbs. I like to switch with Judge and Sanji first, though. That way I can get the tandem orb, so I have access to the super tandem on the final stage for Whitebeard. Whitebeard's verse ability is also going to give you color affinity. And basically, you just bink all of your specials on turn 4, because on the final stage against Shanks, he doesn't blow away your positive effects. And because you don't lose your positive effects, you don't have to worry about utilizing the specials on that final stage. As you can see, you have so much damage against uh, Ben Beckman and Lucky Roo. You can easily kill them, no issues whatsoever, and still keep that tandem orb on Judge and Sanji. Now, on the final stage, you do get to spared. Whitebeard takes care of that. So does Luffy, but mainly Whitebeard. And then you switch back into your captain, which is going to be our six times captain of Luffy, which is super nice because everyone has matching orbs. With this team, because you have that tandem orb on Jumanji, you can get access to the Whitebeard super tandem because we have a Marco on the team. And then because we have so much HP, we just take the 60k. It's normally 80k, but 60k we want to use... Um, damage reduction, and that way you don't actually have to worry about dying after you kill Shanks as well. Momo's end of turn damage gets around the resilience, and you're just all hunky-dory from there. So as you can see, nice and easy. Um, again, Shanks, this team should easily work up to 150. As you guys saw, I had three more units to attack with, plus I had the rush ability of Luffy, which is very, very strong. Um, we're going to lose a lot of HP, but as you guys saw, I had 90k to, to deal with there. So it's going to wrap up the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to go down there, belt like button, hit the subscribe button, do all that good stuff. Most importantly, wherever you guys are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Yeet!